Hey everyone, thanks for coming back for another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome. In a nutshell, I am Becca. I'm a mom of three. Two of my kids have autism as well as my husband and we bought a 1976 mobile home off Facebook Marketplace and we are slowly remodeling it and striving to live debt free. Whew, that was a lot. To all of my returning subscribers, I love you guys. Thanks for coming back. In this video, I am showing you some old footage from before we moved into the trailer where we replaced the flooring of my daughter's room and I also repurposed an old loft bed that I bought for $60. I painted the bed and used a vinyl contact paint paper on the desk below. So as some of you know, we added a third bedroom for my boys within the living room. If you have not seen that video, I will post it below. My husband did it all by himself. This was the original second bedroom. It wasn't too bad because the previous owners had maintained this room the most because this is where their kids slept. The window was the newest window in the house at the time and the flooring underneath was not physically damaged. It looked like it had some urine or water on the surface, but there was no smell. And since the cost of wood is extremely high right now we decided to just go over the surface of the floor with kills paint mentioned before, I painted this whole house from the ceiling down with white paint. I chose white for now because I could purchase it in five gallon increments for $75 at Menards. This room started out as a slime green color and took a few coats to fully cover up. wanted to touch base on some comments that I have read that state we are lucky my husband knows how to do these things. First of all, yes, you are right. We feel very blessed by the good Lord for our health and ability to do these things. However, we were not taught all of these skills. We learned through reading and watching multiple YouTube videos. My husband had no idea how to install laminate vinyl floor planks prior to purchasing this mobile home. His only experience was with vinyl sheets that you apply all at once, like in our rental laundry room makeover video. We had to do a lot of research, and I will tell you there are so many videos out there that make this process look easy and flawless for them. So you can imagine our frustrations when it wasn't smooth for us. We struggled a lot. We had uneven floors to begin with, and we had no idea why we couldn't get the pieces to click together. In the videos where they were just putting it together beautifully, I'm here to tell you we struggled. So if you're struggling, you're not alone. It is not easy to install these planks. At least it isn't for us. So my takeaway there is watch videos, do your research, if you're struggling, you're not alone. It's not easy, but it is possible and you can do it.
accidentally deleted a ton of footage when I was uploading to my external storage. So I do not have the footage where I painted the bed or the room, but I used the cheap white spray paint from Walmart and painted the bed white and teal. It took about six cans of each color. So I painted the bed before moving in and here is the bed about five months later. My daughter has patiently waited for me to redo the desk portion and complete decorating her room. So this is what we are doing here. Whenever I like to declutter and redecorate, I try to move as much stuff out of the room as possible considering we have very little space. This is Buttercup, our cute bunny who does not like the camera. My daughter made these cute succulents out of items from the dollar store. One of my succulents was ripped apart by my son and she watched some videos and was able to put them in her own pots and put some rocks on the top and they are slowly coming back to life. My daughter does a good job on maintaining her bedroom and her own laundry for the most part. She is still learning and I like to get in there once in a while and do a good deep clean on her room to help her out. Sometimes a good restart on her room can get her motivated to keep it clean. purchase this mobile home a lot of the outlets needed replaced they wouldn't hold anything you plugged in or if they did it was really wiggly we still are slowly replacing the outlets as time goes on it's one of those things that you know you need to get done but don't get it done until it's extremely annoying so mid redecorating her room lights were flickering and our music kept shutting off so that was when we decided my husband needed to replace that outlet because it was very annoying while he did that my daughter spackled the holes with some joint compound we found Tonight, if you need a change I 
I purchased this final contact paper off Amazon and I will link it below. I personally give it a three out of five stars because it could be worse and it could be better, but for the price, it was just right. We started by sanding and cleaning the surface just so we had a smooth, clean area to apply to. Any bumps will show and it will not stick if there is any residue, so it is important to do the prep work first. I have worked a lot in the past with vinyl and different suppliers, so it didn't surprise me when this product arrived and was cut a half inch smaller than what was advertised. In my experience, sometimes that can happen. So when I ordered it, it was supposedly the exact width of the desk and I would have been able to just apply it on top and cut a separate piece for the front section of the desk. This would have been the easiest way, but because it was a half inch too short, I had to move it forward to go around the front section of the desk and ended up cutting an additional strip in the back to fit the gap. On the back side of vinyl is transfer tape. Different brands of transfer tape work better in my opinion and this transfer tape was not good. Had this transfer tape been better, the application process would have been significantly easier, but I show you in the video how it tears apart rather than come off in one piece. When you are working with large pieces of vinyl, it can become tricky to apply the vinyl without it crinkling or sticking together. I also had sections where the transfer tape just wouldn't come off at all and had to try my best to cover it up. The plus to this vinyl is it was so sticky, but I could still lift it back up and reapply it if there was a bubble or it became uneven. I recommend using an old card to help you work out any bubbles or imperfections and to take your time and not rush the process. I do have a couple of errors still that I would not have had had the transfer tape come off. So I do still recommend this product and I have no affiliation whatsoever with the company or the seller. I just let my daughter order this because it's what she liked and I only checked the measurements and the reviews. Most consumers were satisfied with this product and I would say overall we were too. It has held up really well and looks really nice. Over the course of five months, there is some chipping of the paint in areas that are high traffic, especially where the ladder sits. And my husband said that is because I did not sand the bed first. 
I'm just going to be honest with you all. I had no desire to do that and I just touch up the chips as I need to. Now, if you want to do better than I did or if you plan to repurpose and resell, then I would suggest thoroughly sanding and cleaning the bed prior to painting it. We forgot to put a door stopper on the back of the door, so it created a hole from my giant puppy slamming it open. If you have a hole like this, you can use a big glob of joint compound and allow it to dry for 24 hours. Once completely dried, you can sand it down to match the rest of the walls. You can then add texture if you do not want any flaws to show or you can just paint over it without texturizing it again. It depends on your situation and the result you want. I went ahead and just textured over it and then repainted so it did not look like there was ever a hole. Since recording this video, we have added beaded curtains as her closet door, which I will link below and show you all in another video. I was hoping to get it posted in this video, but 
in my area, Amazon has now become similar to snail mail and it takes forever to get my packages. She also decorated her ceiling with her favorite artists, one being Michael Jackson. My kid is so cool. And we also plan on adding some shelves and reorganizing her closet, which will be in a future video. The bedding is from Target, the throw pillows are from Five Below, and the white furry rug is from At Home. Also, if you are curious about the portable bunny cage, we purchased it from PetSmart. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was highly requested and I will be sharing more of my home. So make sure you are subscribed. If you are new here, please comment down below. I'd love to welcome you and my regular OGs. I love talking to you. So please comment below and I will catch you in my next one. Whoa.